and welcome back to another video. So on today's video, I'm starting off a bit later than expected. I was thinking I'd be doing this around midday, but I was actually down in Bantry uh, last night with my friends from work and one of them has a boat. So we went out on the boat earlier this morning and we spent loads of time just watching the dolphins and the whales. It was absolutely amazing, amazing. And we went for a nice swim in a cove down there then afterwards. Um, so I said, you know what? It was well worth it. Um, I can do the work now. It's just a bit later in the day. I might put in a little clip of, of what I was looking at earlier today as well. But for now anyway, I want to get the latest calf in. She should be my last calf to be dehorned. The other one will be out of a poly. So uh, that one shouldn't have horns. So I'm going to try and get them now. They're only in the field here outside the shed. So hopefully that won't be any issue. We'll get them in, get her tagged and dehorned. Then I want to put herself and the cow down with the others, but I also want to bring them up. I'm going to paint their tails. It's something we've never done before, but we just can't spot them this year. Um, so look, I'm hoping that the tail paint will at least give us an indication of them actually bullying, because right now we don't know if they are bullying or not, or if we're just missing them or whatever. So I'm gonna bring them all up. We'll paint their tails. I've one that's lame, the one that had the twins. So we think it's still a niggle from her calving on the slats, but it seems to have gotten worse and maybe someone was bullying or she was bullying and that has aggravated it. So we're going to separate her from the others. I'm gonna get her an anti-inflammatory and give her uh, an injection or two and keep her up here by the house with the cow that's um, due to calve in a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, um, I'll bring you along to see what I'm doing. Oh, oh my God, this is so amazing. I am so glad to see the end of dehorning because this little madam was tough work from start to finish. You can see there she was rocking the crate. She was no small animal. It was difficult to get her in, but she was acting up as soon as we tied her in. She was rocking it. Dad could barely hold it. Um, you will have seen there a couple of times where I was even holding down the crate with Dad because she was rocking it so much. But look, job done and glad to have it out of the way. I'm back here today. I didn't record much of the tail painting the last day because 
the girls were not in the mood to cooperate. It was hard work. I think it's always the way when they know you're tired. So after my adventures on the sea and then being out the night before as well, they knew that I was on my last legs and they acted up. So the video I took was just them heading for the gate and I said, this is going to be great now. They're going to look so good just walking out the gate themselves. And sure then didn't I have one turn this way and the other turn that way. The rest of them were in the middle, just saying, not sure where we're going. So I ran to one side, turned her out towards the gate, ran over to the other side, turned her towards the gate. When I had her turned, I had to run over, turn the other one because she turned back again, vice versa. I'd say I did it six times in the heat. I thought I was going to collapse. Got them out, I went ahead of them. Dad was only in the chair, he wasn't in the gator. That was the number one mistake I think we made. So they weren't, Woo! that was lightning. Um, so they weren't coming at pace, they were just taking their time. They decided to go into some rough. It's okay, Sheehan, it's okay. I assume you can hear that. That was expected. Um, it's so heavy here today. But um, yeah, so they went into rough stuff that I didn't block off. That was mistake number two by me. Again, all these things when you're tired and you say, no, it'll be fine. So I had to run in there and get them out of there, which was fine, got them out. But to be fair, once I got them to the shed, they weren't too bad. Took a bit of separating and things like that, but it was all right. So they weren't happy in the crush. So I just got the tail paint on. Uh, if it stops raining, I'll show ye what it looks like now today because I was a bit skeptical about it. Um, but I'll show ye in a while. I'm taking shelter under a, a bush here because this is proper rain now. We've had a nice bit of rain. I'm in a far better position, thankfully, than a lot of other places in Ireland. Um, we have had a bit of rain, but this is what we need. This is proper rain. We've had a couple of showers now all evening. Um, I was about an hour away from here with work today and it was 26 degrees there but as I kept getting closer to home um, the temperatures were dropping and then I saw the road was wet and I was delighted to be honest. Um, now um, it's not going to be ideal this evening because I finally have my first cow bulling. I thought it would never happen but thankfully I went down this morning and the fog, you could barely see in front of you with the fog. And I said, I'm wasting my time going down here now. Now I was dressed in the heels and all for work, so I couldn't get out and go into the field. So I was saying, I'm wasting my time here now because I'm not going to be able to see them. Pulled off to the gate and looked in and could see three of them. And I said, there's something up here because they were top to tail. And yeah, she was bulling. I'm so lucky because if she was any further down the field, I wouldn't have spotted them. She could have been bulling and I wouldn't have spotted it. And you don't know, I must ask dad, was she bulling throughout the day? Cause I text him straight away and he went straight down to have a look. Um, but you know, sometimes they say they show up best between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. So she mightn't have shown up by the time my dad went down there cause he mightn't go down until nine or half nine. Um, but yeah, that was at about half seven. So I'm delighted now I went down and I got her. So I want to also compare her tail paint to the others because yeah, I am just a bit skeptical about it. Um, there's a lot of shrubs and bushes down there and I'm wondering, you know, if they rub off those, will it, you know, just rub off anyway? I don't know, cause I've never used it before, but It'll be interesting to see the difference now between her and the others. Oh God, this rain is bad now. I probably should have worn a jacket, but it's so warm, I really didn't want to. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing this evening. More moving cows. They'll be like dairy cows. <laughs> By the time we're done with them, they're up and down that road so much, but hopefully they'll give us less problems today. I'm going to get more help as well. It was just myself, mom and dad. Um, the last day so I think I'll get Rob out and uh, maybe the sister Orla as well um, just to stand on the road just in case they are acting up but hopefully not so much today.
I was just on my way down this morning to leave out the cow and calf there behind me when my dad rang to say that the Charlie cow was bulling now. So that's great. They all seem to be coming together now, which is brilliant because we were getting concerned it's so late on. Um, but yeah, look, if we can get the majority of them this month, we'd be absolutely delighted. So hopefully things keep going. But what we've decided to do is just keep these two here until this evening when we bring up the others, just because she can be a bit of a handful. And, you know, if she's been up here and separated from the others, she might go down and then not want to come out of the field this evening and things. So we're going to leave her and the calf here. Uh, she's having some hay and I gave her some nuts as well. So she's happy out and uh, the calf made a lovely bed for herself on the straw. Uh, last night so they'll be grand here and um, I just scraped out the shed here because they made an absolute mess again yesterday I know they're coming up again this evening but Eric, it's a small job if you keep doing it um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean the crush um, so because I've had them in there for the tail painting and I had her in there last night for the AI it's just a bit of a mess Plus, I stung the absolute bejesus out of my legs, even though I was wearing jeans yesterday. Um, because you can probably see there, it's just all nettles the whole way down. So I'm going to get the strimmer down, get rid of those. And as you can see there, that needs a good scraping out and a sweeping. So I'm going to do that this morning. Now I'm just down here to have a look and as you can see the Charlie cow is still very much in heat. That's the two bullocks. She's even trying to jump but the two bullocks are mad following her around almost fighting over her. So she is very much still in which means we would try to do her as late as possible. So generally if we spot them in the morning time We'll do them around 8, 9, 10 o'clock that night, uh, whenever the AI man is around, but it's always the later the better. And then if we spot them in the evening or night time, we don't do anything until the following morning. So because she's still so much in heat there, um, we'd be trying to do her as late as possible tonight. We just find that's the most effective. Last year we had only one repeat 
which was our girl over here but that was very much our fault we just um caught her late and it was too late by the time we ai'd her uh, i think we had something on i can't remember we had some family event on anyway so we couldn't ai her until the following day and it was just too late so she's the only one that repeated so hopefully we'll have as much good fortune this year um as we did last year with it um jimmy is some man for the women he showed up uh the other cow yesterday as well so he's doing his job down here we just this is why we left the two bullocks down here to show up the cows um and they're doing a fine job. Here we go again today. And not a bother to them because they do not mess with the gator. Up, up, up! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Come on! Come on! Now I've just left the others back in here and opened up the wire again so they'll spend the night without Snowflake and her calf but I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, quick outfit change, uh, I got destroyed but uh, thankfully I had this close to hand. But um, yeah so they all got their spot on anyway so hopefully the flies won't be annoying them as much now but um, when I had them done with the spot on, I said, jeez, I don't think I should have bothered. I think I should have just given them a dose. But look, um, I think I'll have to give them a dose the next time they're up. Whoever's um, bullying next, if it's in a week or two, I'll just dose them. Because especially the two bullocks, they're very dirty around the backside. Um, so they could definitely do it, whatever about the cows, they don't seem as bad. But... I think to be on the safe side now, um, I probably just give them all the bit of clozomectin anyway. Just to be on the safe side and yeah, as I said, definitely the bullocks need it. So um, yeah, they're all settled in here grand again. They're sure they're so used to being up and down that road. Um, can't remember, did I say yesterday what we gave the cow? She got a cemental. So um, Harry from Leeherd Cementals. So that's what she got. And uh, yeah, hopefully now all goes well and we'll have a nice cemental calf out of her next year. She went from having all heifers to having all bullocks, so hopefully she'll go to heifers again. Now I know I do give out about her nervous Norma is her name and she is very flighty and well, she's looking at me there now as well. But she's a very steady cow she doesn't give us the best calves absolutely not and my brother-in-law is always telling me to get rid of her because she doesn't give great calves but she does she gives solid calves but they're just not she's not the best cow we have but she came in five weeks on the dot after she calved there's not many of them that do that you know i don't want to jinx myself now but i've never had trouble with her after the ai or anything so hopefully now it'll be the same story this year and we'll consider um, keeping her offspring, um, depending on how the others go. If Big Red hopefully comes bullying again and if she gives us a heifer, that's always going to be the one that we will keep. But look, you have to have options as well and it doesn't always go to plan and you don't always get exactly what you want. So, But anyway, I'm going to leave this lot here now anyway and head up until the AI man uh, comes and hopefully it won't be too late. This girl here is exactly how you want any cow to behave. I just came and gave her her nuts, close the head gate, done. So I'm just gonna swing the gate around her now so we don't need to put her out to the crush or anything. And we should be job done in five minutes and she should be happy out. So I'll give her her spot on and paint her tail now again as well. And they'll all be good to go and just send them out in the morning.
so I just sent the cow and calf down there, not a bother to them. They trotted the whole way down, happy out. I forgot to paint her tail last night, so I just did it there now this morning, but sure. She was as quiet as a mouse once she was eating her nuts for breakfast. So the last thing I'm going to do in this video now is just uh, inject the lame cow outside, the, the cow that had the twins. So my dad got an injection, so it's for three days, which is a bit of a pain because it's in a big syringe. So I, I just find that sometimes when it's in the, you know, separate syringes, it's just easier to give, but it's grand. So uh, I think there's 20 mils in it and it's to be done three days. So I'll give about seven um, today and hopefully I'll be able to catch her. Um, I tried catching her yesterday in the head gate in the crush, wouldn't do it. So dad was here, so I'm going to do it when I'm on my own now because look, the less fuss and things, the better. Uh, I'm not going to record trying to catch her head because I just feel it's going to jinx me. So I'll let you know how I get on and hopefully I'll have some clip of doing it anyway because I do want to get her injected because if she's lame, she's less likely to come bullying. It could interfere with her milk as well and that's the last thing you want to do when there's twins on her. So we really, really want to get that sorted. So this is the first step to doing that anyway. If these injections don't make a difference, we'll get the vet out to have a good look at her. But it does just seem to be a strain or something. And then the bullying just, well, what we assume was bullying aggravated it because she's not half as bad now. Again, it was like she was bad for two or three days. And now she's just, you can tell she's lame though. So it needs to be sorted. So yeah, I'll try and get her in now. And that will be it for today. that was a great result there she didn't put the head up straight away but I moved the gate that we hung on the wall out and I think she thought that I was letting her go so she stuck the head out to the bucket of nuts and caught so that was great um, I went in and injected her then behind the leg just because it's a subcutaneous um, injection so it's just under the skin it's not into the muscle and dad said that would be a handy place to get it which it was in fairness she made a slight reaction when I first touched her but after that then I don't think she actually felt it at all I think at first she was just wondering what I was doing down there um, yeah, and didn't react at all. So brilliant because hopefully now tomorrow when I bring her in again, she won't have, you know, bad memories or whatever of her experience in there. It was all very smooth. She was in and out in a matter of minutes. So that's the job done and that's me done for today. I don't know what I did in this video. A lot of waffling, I have a feeling. So if you've lasted this long, fair play to you. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, the tail painting was the, the big new one for us, I suppose. Now... I'm not sure and if there's any dairy farmers you probably know best. Do you apply that very regularly? Because like, I'm sure it's easier when they're in for milking. Whereas I would have to bring them up again to do that. I'd say they'll need to be done once a week. Now I put a good layer of it on yesterday um, to be sure. But, and it is very obvious when they have been bullying because it's all gone. The whole lot of it is gone. So you can see it fading. Number one mistake I made was getting the pink one or the red one, whatever it is, when I have mainly cemental cows. That was really silly of me. So I think in future I'd get a red or, or I'd get a blue or a green or something that would stand out better because maybe it's not actually as faded as I think it is. It's just because the color on the color. So, um, but yeah, look, um, it seems to have brought us good fortune, if nothing else, the tail paint, um, because you know, to, to get two of them bullying in two days, one day apart, should I say, in two consecutive days is absolutely ideal. So hopefully uh, that continues now. But anyway, I need to stop talking. So thank you very much for watching. And if you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>